So this is Nixie from Salon Star Styles and we're getting ready to do a wedding. It's my first wedding of the year and if you know me, you know this is my favorite all time thing to do. I love weddings. So I'm excited. COVID did not stop anything. I still get to do at least one wedding in 2020. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. So this is Candace and Candace was referred to me by two of my longtime clients and um, she wanted me to start her for her wedding. She said this is her first time getting a full sew in so I'm glad, I'm glad she came to me to get it done so everything could be done right. And then of course it's for her special day so we're just giving her a nice foundation to lay her tracks on. And right here as you can see we got her braided down, the foundation is nice and flat and um yeah so we're gonna go ahead and sew her in right on top of the braids usually i use a net but we didn't bring one today but it'll still work just as fine just as well so so we're sewing her in here and she's using um 18 inch hair from true glory and um it's three bundles so I think this was the body wave. Um, this was hair of her choice. So I'm just rocking with it and we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it do what it do. Okay, so as you can see, we have made our way to the top, almost done. Um, we did use about three bundles, probably like less than um, a quarter of the bundle was left. And we made it nice and full just to give her a full look um, for her wedding day. She didn't have a particular style that she wanted me to do. So I just kind of, I'm just going to kind of freestyle it. So we curl it up and um, let the curls set. And now I'm going to blend in her leave out and just play around with it and see where how she how she's feeling what style she's feeling because like i said she didn't have a particular style in mind so we're going to curl it up take these pin curls down and just free flow just see where it, where it goes from here whenever i'm doing wedding styling or styling for a bride i always like to curl the hair first and then um pin curl it so those curls could set because the longer the curls set the longer they'll last throughout the day. So if I'm doing bridal hair or bridesmaids hair, whoever, I always try, if I have enough time for the bridesmaids to get their curls pinned, I always curl the hair first and just pin it and let them sit and then go in and style it. But today we did everything on one day, um, her whole install and um, curling it. So I usually uh, do the install maybe a day before and then um, curl it up on that day and then everybody gets their makeup done and then I'll style everybody out. But so anyway, this is her, um, this is me just combing the curls down, just trying to get a feel for it, see what we like, see what we want to do. And um, as I'm combing it down, I don't think Candace was really feeling the curls. I think it was a little more than what she expected. And she's a very natural girl. She likes her hair not nice and natural and pressed. She likes her makeup very nice and simple and pressed. I mean, not pressed, but you know, <laughs> she likes her very her makeup very clean and soft. Well, she don't wear it at all. So, um, but if she does, she like everything nice and natural looking. So I think the hair, the curls were a bit much for her. And I love big hair, but it's not about me. I'm all about making my clients happy. So I'm going to go in and put a little layer in it. Um, give it a little more definition. Cut some layers in it and, you know, make it look a little more fuller just to see if it has a shape, if she would like it. And we're going to continue to flow and figure it all out.
so as you can see here the curls are giving it a little more definition a little more shape and um, I'm beginning to like it the curls are popping it looks good but I still don't think Candace was spilling it which I'm not taking offense to it look people are so particular especially on their special days and I get it even though she did not have a style in mind I still have to make sure she gets exactly what it is that she wants so I'm going to continue to style her hair out and we're going to play with it try different styles because we did have time to play around today so we had enough time to figure it out just stay tuned continue watching and watch me style candace out and make her smile which I, that's the signature for me at the end you have to smile and that's how i know we sealed the deal so stay tuned guys <laughs> Okay, so after I shaped her and um, layered her curls, I was asking her, was she feeling better about it? What did she want me to do? Did she want some vintage ways to kind of tone the curls down? Did she want me to flatten them out? So we're still trying to figure it out, guys. And I I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up. We're going to make this beautiful bride her hair. We're going to make her happy. We got to make her happy. So stay tuned. Follow me. Follow me. <laughs> Okay, so we finally came to a mutual agreement and Candace decided she wanted to wear something nice and flowy to the side, just full on one side. So I decided to kind of style her out and I was just gonna push one side to the, um, you know, have it just falling on her, on her left side or her right side, sorry. But you know, pin everything to the side and have it falling on her right side. That's what she decided she wanted. So I said, okay, cool, let's do it. Anything that works, whatever works, whatever makes you happy. And then she decided she wanted a braid instead of just for me to pin it over. So I said, okay, cool, let's do the braid. So I decided to do an inverted braid on the left side and style her out and push her hair all to one side. So this was her final go-to style and I think it turned out great. So stay tuned so you can see the finished look. And Candace finally gave me the smile that I wanted. So, yeah. And right here, I want to give you guys Nisi's pro tip of the day. Guys, it's so important the way you lay your tracks and the way your foundation lays because this is a full install, but you would never know because I, that, that foundation, that braid down was so flat and the way I placed her tracks um, are very seamless, so you can't tell where the track starts, where you know whether she's wearing weave or is this her natural hair. And that's the goal, ladies, all the time. You always want to have an install that looks really, really, really natural. Whether you're wearing it up in a ponytail or you have a lot of leave out, a little leave out, whatever the case may be. I'm all about a nice, natural looking install, so you can have more versatility. As you can see, we only did minimal leave out, which is her um, perimeter in the front not the whole perimeter just her hairline area in the front and then a little leave out to cover the tracks at the top so it's very very important to know how to place the tracks and have a nice firm foundation And of course, I'm using the holding spray from My Hair Care Line from StarStylesHairCare.com. I love this holding spray. You guys should check it out, StarStylesHairCare.com. Okay, okay, we made it to the final look. And guys, Candace looks so beautiful. Her hair turned out so amazing. And she was happy. We all were happy. Everybody was happy. She's feeling it. She's loving it. She looks beautiful, ready for her day, ready to walk down that aisle and greet her husband and just enjoy herself. So as you can see, we did that braid on the side and it turned out so perfect. And I think we accomplished it. I think we, we nailed it. I think she's she's ready <laughs> so like i said this is a full install and we just decided to curl it and give her an inverted braid on the opposite side and this um style is pretty easy for um, wedding and you can wear this if you are a bride uh, or a bridesmaid or it looks good on anyone so it's elegant enough to wear as a bride and it's nice enough to just wear for a simple style for a bridesmaid just depending on you know your look and what you guys are feeling but anyway 
I think I nailed it. I think Candace loved it and it's perfect to me. I'm excited, I'm happy, my mission is done. Thank you again, Candace, for letting me style you. And we're just gonna place our veil on it to seal the deal and look, the wedding bells are ringing. She's ready to walk down the aisle, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for um, all your support always. And if you want to see more, if you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. If you're on Instagram, like, comment, let me know how you feel about it. And Facebook is Star Stylist Nisi and starstylesharecare.com.